This is a stacked image with 21 slices. We will use image J to create and animate 3D structure of this image. To use only the slices of interest instead of all the 21 slices, head to image, stacks, tools, and select make substack. Input the slices of interest and click OK. Let us use these 16 slices to create the 3D image. The first step is to split the channels into red, green, and blue channels. At this time, the green channel can be ignored. To change the brightness and contrast of the image, click on Process and Enhance Contrast. Select the Normalize and Process All 16 Slices option. Change the saturated pixels accordingly and then click OK. Similarly, use the enhanced contrast for the blue channel if required. Now use the lookup tables option to apply colors to each channel. The next step is to merge the blue and the red channels that will generate an 8-bit image. If required, this 8-bit image can be changed into an RGB color format. Next, click on Image and Properties. In the Composite window, change the pixel width, height, and voxel depth pixel values, and then click OK. To view the changes, click on Image, Stacks, and Orthogonal Views. Here, users can view the YG and XG angles of the image. This image is ready to be processed. Click on Plugins, 3D, and select Volume Viewer. If this plugin has not been installed in the image J, head to this website as shown in the screen below and download the plugin. Once the plugin has been installed, select Volume Viewer. The 3D image is displayed at the center of the Volume Viewer window. Use the mouse to position the angle of the image according to your interest. From this drop-down, users can select any format to be displayed. The display options are Slice A slice is a cut through the volume. Slice and Borders displays a slice through the volume as well as the volume stacks borders. Maximum Projection the volume is projected and the maximum values, that is, with alpha greater than zero, are maintained. Projections. Voxels are projected with the alpha values as weights. Volume. Alpha blending is used to perform 3D rendering. The number of samples used to mix the volume values is determined by the sampling value. Higher numbers produce better looking outcomes but at a slower rate. For this tutorial, let us use the volume option. Similarly, from this drop-down, users can choose to use any of the options. Interpolation modes includes nearest neighbors, which is the fastest, trilinear, and two tricubic modes, which are the slowest, can also be chosen. The distance slider adjusts the slice G screen position. Only voxels at this or greater distances, that is, for volumes and projections, are displayed. The colored lines in the planner views on the plugin's left indicate where the displayed slice intersects with these views. The planner views positions can be adjusted using the XY, YZ, and XG sliders. The volume's G aspect ratio is read automatically, but it can also be changed. Axis. If enabled, axis and text are displayed. Clipping. When this option is enabled, the clipping plane, that is, at the selected distance, is displayed. If this option is selected, 
the positions of planar views are presented. The zoom factor is determined by the scale slider. In the draw LUT option, color LUTs can be used for display in transfer functions. The mouse can be used to change their curves. Users can select the red channel and use the mouse to change the red color in the image. The blue channel can also be selected to change the blue color in the image. In this part of the parameter settings, alpha values can be set using four distinct transfer functions based on the brightness, gradient, mean, and differences of the voxels. 1D. The alpha value can be represented as a 1D function, that is, alpha luminance. In the 1D option, use the mouse to change the luminance of both the channels. 2D gradient. The alpha value can be represented as a two-dimensional function, that is, alpha luminance and gradient. 2D mean difference. The alpha value can be represented as a 2D function, that is, alpha, mean, and difference. 3D fill. The alpha value can be specified as a 3D function, such as alpha, that is, X, Y, and G. Alpha and color values can be set to voxels with similar intensities by clicking in the planner views. For this tutorial, let us use the 1D option. The luminance settings can be erased if required and use the auto function to apply the luminance on the image. Use the mouse to rotate the 3D image to view the X, G and Y, G angles. Using the luminance settings, the colors and the view can be adjusted accordingly. In this way, both the YG and XG view can be changed if needed. Click on the light option to view the 3D image in a new display mode. Users can change the sliders to adjust the object color, ambient, diffuse, specular, and shine to modify the display of the image. If users choose not to use this new display, simply uncheck the light option. Users also have the option to change the background color of choice. To save a copy of this image, click on Save View and save it in any format of your choice. To generate an animation of this display, set the angle of rotation in the y-axis. For instance, 15 degree. Now hit enter in the keyboard and click save view. Similarly, increase the degree of rotation by another 15 degrees and click save view. This process may be repeated until the image flips to its original angle of rotation. Once the right to left Y axis angle of rotation is completed, the top to the bottom or the X angle of rotation can also be performed. Users also have the option to use the mouse to drag the angle of rotation. Simply use the mouse to rotate the X axis angle of rotation and click Save View. In this way, users can use the mouse to complete the angle of rotation in the x-axis. Once completed, these images are ready to be processed into an animation. Click on Image, Stacks, and select Images to Stack.
This animation can be saved by clicking on File, Save as, AVI Format, choose the compression and frame rate accordingly, and then click OK. Now, this animated file is ready to be used, for instance, in a PowerPoint presentation. Thanks for watching.